One of my most popular videos over the last couple of years has been the unbox and setup and use of the Zykoi balance and weight meter. So that means I've been using it for the last year or so and I've learned some lessons and I've come up with three really cool tips and tricks for you to have an even better experience with your Zykoi. One of them is not even in the manual and I had to go digging to find it and I think you'll find it very valuable. So if you're interested, if you love your Zykoi, you wanna find out some good ideas, stick around, let's head over to the bench and get to work. My first tip is to go out and get a laser level. These things are really cool and I found a lot of good uses for them in the shop. Using the laser level, you can now measure very exact between the axles. And before I was measuring from the center of the scales, but now I've just moved to measuring from the front axles to the tailwheel axle. And the laser level helps you do that very well. And let's talk about that tail wheel. It's pretty hard to measure that when the plane is level. If the tail wheel's off the ground, it's hard to get that exact measurement. And the laser level helps you do that very well. So the sub tip here is to, if you can, and I am in good fortune, this is my basement and my floorboards have a bunch of parallel lines. I can square the plane up to those lines and make sure that my measurements are square. I can square the laser to those lines and all of my measurements are very exact and has helped me get better measurements for use with the Zykoi. A final tip here is while you have the plane out and you're measuring everything, it's leveled, you can do one more thing and measure back and paint the CG on the bottom of the plane so you can mark it with some tape or some felt or whatever. But again, uh, finding this with the plane level, the laser level helps make it very easy if this is something you wanna do. Tip number two is very simple and I messed up, but I learned my lesson and I wanted to share. Not only do you have to weigh the plane with it leveled, but you also have to take these measurements with the plane leveled. Again, just previously I talked about having to measure the distance between the front axle and the tail wheel with the tail wheel up on the ground, but you also have to measure the leading edge to the front axles with the plane level. I didn't do this with my LA-7, and in this picture, I measured 84 millimeters from the leading edge of the wing to the front axle. I went ahead, balanced it, put it in the Zykoi, and the plane came out way tail heavy. I figured out what I was doing wrong and remeasured, and sure enough, with the plane leveled, the measurement from the leading edge to the front axle is now 127 millimeters, and that makes all the difference in the world with the Zykoi. So again, tip two, do all of your measurements with the plane level. Just another tip for you to get your plane level. I have a cheap bubble level that I place right by the servos. That whole plane inside of the fuselage, I'm assuming that's level. So I'm setting the plane level to this and these cheap bubble levels can be found anywhere. Okay, this last tip, not in the manual, maybe the most important one, maybe not, but for me it was a big deal. When I first got it, my screen did not work, and this is all about how to enter the screen calibration mode. So this is normal usage, I'm using a stylus, very responsive, but you can go into the recalibration mode by touching the screen and applying power to the Zykoi, and you get this special message that comes up saying performing touch screen calibration. You touch the screen to continue, and you basically have to hit the four dots in the corners. Now, I don't know what happened to mine right out of the box, but it was calibrated wrong or whatnot, and the screen would not respond at all. And it took me a while to figure this out because this is not in the manual. I don't know why. So you just saw me hit it with my fingertips, and it seemed to work all right. But let's go ahead and reset this. I want to just show you if you screw this up, and I'm not going to say you're going to screw this up, but who knows what happened to this before it was shipped out. But I'm just going to hit the screen a few times. And so it's totally not calibrated. And you can see you can't toggle any of these buttons and no response from the screen whatsoever. So if that's the case, just remember, Hold the screen down, apply power, and you go into the screen calibration mode, and you just hit the four dots. 
Now, one last thing I'm gonna show you is that I'm using my finger and your finger's pretty big compared to that stylus. And in this case, look, I, I can't seem to hit that X. And I found if you use your fingers, sometimes the things near the edge, you can't really you can't really click on very well. So I go ahead and calibrate it using the stylus that I'm always gonna use, take my time, hit each one of those dots as carefully as I can, and you should be good. So let's do this final calibration. And the key point is when you're entering values because the little keyboard is kind of small. So we'll go ahead to a new model and edit it and edit one of these values. And just being able to check that you can in fact touch all of the, the numbers here just makes sense that we're good. So tip number three, it's not in the manual, but screen calibration mode if you're having problems with your touch screen response. So guys, I hope you guys are enjoying your Zykoi. I love mine and I hope you enjoyed these three tips. I hope I help you guys out a little bit. Um, I've learned from my use over the past year and now the LA7 you see here is fully CG checked out and ready to go. It's gonna be flying pretty soon. And everyone, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.